What most of our customers want is they want a really simple marketplace-like page in their app where their customer can go and say, I want to turn on QuickBooks and I want to turn on Slack and I want to turn on NetSuite or you know whatever the examples are. Click, 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 type in username, password, off we go, okay? And so that, that's where we're trying to get. Now, if you look at everything it takes to get there, you, you get into a ton of detail. I mean, first of all, you need to have the basic workflow for what we're orchestrating. When an invoice gets made here, then do this thing in some other system. You know, when a payment comes in, then do this. And at the same time, message Slack, right? And those can be very simple or very complex. But you also need that workflow to be able to connect to all of these systems out there, to NetSuite, to QuickBooks. And, and, and some of these systems, the ones I've mentioned certainly, are these big SaaS platforms that are very common. And so a platform like Prismatic is already connected to them and already has you know, what we call components that, that let you make those connections. But what happens in many vertical markets is in addition to that, well, you're also connecting to 14 tools that nobody in the world has ever heard of unless they happen to be in your industry, right? So in my previous life, I mentioned I was in public safety. We, we, we connected to um, probably 15 different brands of 911 phone systems. I think you've probably never heard a single one of those brands in your life, like, and it and it doesn't matter. But but that's very much a thing, not just in the public safety vertical market, but in almost every vertical. And I've actually been surprised in the last three years that I've been doing this with Prismatic, how many how many things I guess I've learned about how deep verticals that you wouldn't kind of imagine really are. And so anyway, as you think about what Prismatic needs to do, we need to provide that platform page or that that marketplace page to turn on the integrations. Then we have to give you a way to build the workflows that connect all the systems and has, have all the logic, data mappings, if then type stuff, whatever. But then if you kind of go back one level more, well, there has to be a platform this thing runs on and it has to scale from, you know, you have to be able to deal with the fact that at midnight, your, you, your customers might spike with a whole bunch of batch jobs overnight. And it has to, it has to just, it has to just work. Um, you know, you need to deal with the security ramifications of integrations. You need to deal with the, um, how do you log and how do you detect problems? Because one of the challenges with integrations in a B2B software company is that very often when you get a support issue or somebody's upset that it's not working, it actually has, has to do with the third party that you're connected to and not with you. And that's especially true in vertical markets. And so how do we provide a platform that lets a B2B software company quickly identify where the problem is so that it's entirely possible they just need to go back to their customer and say, hey, you need to call Acme Inc. because their API has been returning 401s for the last, you know, however long. Um, and so I think you end up with this really kind of broad platform, some of which is really customer facing and some of which is like the least sexy stuff in the world, but is, but is exactly what makes this work in reality.